Let's talk a little Vikings playoff picture. All right, welcome back to the One Bar and Lumpagus show. I'm One Bar with Lumpagus. We got three weeks left. Vikings are kings of the damn north. So let's start digging in to see what this playoff picture might look like. Playoff scenario, we're shaking it like a Polaroid. And let's just be, you know, it's Christmas season. Let's be thankful that the Vikings are in this spot. We get to talk playoff football for the first time. It seems like a very long time for the Vikings. Christmas, I mean, Thanksgiving, more thankful holiday. Holidays are the seasons of thanks. Wow. Well done. That should be on a shirt. That should be on a shirt. So let's Thank just you. look at it right now. But before we get into that, hit that sub button. Grab Ooh. yourself a little bridge. Come on now. Might tickle him right there. Speaking Hell holidays yeah. might be the season for, for thankfulness, but also the season for drinkfulness. Tons of drinking it's true. holiday. It's true. It's true. You got All right, let's look at this right now. Boom. There it is. NFC North pitcher. Yeah, Vikings currently at the second seed. Right now, they would square off against the Commanders if the playoffs started today at home against those pesky ass Commanders. Oh, you're just really jumping ahead. Uh, let's go to the. Let's go. To, let's start off the top. Philly's got the number one seed locked up. They have it. Well, Done. That's not guaranteed yet, but it's pretty much guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I may not have Jalen Hurts though. What uh, What isn't guaranteed is that number two seed. Look at that, Minnesota, San Francisco, one <laughs> game apart. We're going to talk about who they play in a minute. But, uh, I mean, San Francisco also holds a tiebreaker. Horrifying. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and then, you know what, the the, the rest of the uh, garbage, as we should say, down below. All that matters is who we end up playing. And, it, and, and right now, like you said, it would be Washington if the playoffs started mm -hmm. today. Yeah, and you look at who potentially could be. I mean, the Giants could still be a possibility. End up in the seventh seed. You got the Seahawks floating around there, the Lions floating around. Uh, looking at those four teams, I mean, what's your dream matchup for the Vikings if they do hold in that second seed? My dream matchup would probably actually be Seattle. Uh, Washington actually wouldn't be horrible. I'd be fine with the playoffs starting tomorrow. But when you look at the Giants, Washington, Seattle, they kind of are just a coin toss for me. Detroit needs to stay the hell out of the playoffs because that one is not a dream. That one is scary. That one's scary, too. And I want to see how we do against the Giants this uh, this weekend. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, just some of the you know the weapons that the Giants have and, and Vikings defense here. Uh, I want to see how that plays out before I feel confident about playing the Giants in the playoffs. Uh, but I, I agree. I, I think Washington's our best bet. Yeah. Um, and really, I mean, uh, it's just out of teams I don't want to play. I mean, it's going to be the Giants, Washington, or Seattle, or Detroit. Mm -hmm. um, you got a whole bunch of teams that are still not technically eliminated, like the Packers. I mean, that ain't happening. Uh, it's the Lions. I mean, that's the scariest one. How about you? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's the Lions. Um, again, you've, you've already played them twice, played them a third time. Uh, it's hard to beat a team twice in the season. Great offense there. Defense that's playing much better. And a coach who's not afraid to take chances. Uh, yeah, I think the Lions would be a nightmare matchup. I mean, they would have to beat us twice in a year, though. They would. They would. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> well let's talk about the two seed right now we hold all the cards we hold all the cards but san francisco has been hotter than a lump of hungover shit let's look at who we play so we got the giants packers bears by no means are those three just a complete given um but look at the niners easy yeah. easy lemon squeezy and and that mixed in with how the niners are playing right now this is a horrible com uh, combination for the vikings to get the second seed uh commanders is probably the, the niners toughest game coming up but and then the, at Raiders, I mean, the Raiders are kind of tricky. Sometimes they look good. Other times they look like shit. Hopefully yep. the good Raiders show up uh, when the Niners go there and the Cardinals are just a train wreck. They, they'll be an absolute mess at that point. Uh, who knows who their starting quarterback will be. And the Vikings, Giants, we'll see how that shakes out. Packers are fighting for the playoff li lives in your at Green Bay at that one. And the Bears game for the Vikings, regardless what happens, that might just be a meaningless game at this point. So if I'm the Niners, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances for the second seed. Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, technically, the Vikings still have a high percentage of actually getting that. Um, but, yeah, the Niners are scary. And, really, it, what it comes down to is that second home playoff game with that number two seed because whether it's whether we have the two seed, whether we have the three seed, we're still going to be in the mix for playing one of these same teams that we just talked about. So, But, strategically, but, I mean, if it's the Giants or Washington get ahead of Detroit, I mean, maybe we want to have the three seed. 
Hello, hello. Well, this picture will surely start to come more clear and clear, just like my urine as the day goes by. But um, we're looking at pretty much that. Yeah. Again, um, you gotta love having the home game. That's huge for the for the Vikings. The king of the North. King of the North. King of the North. Our kings of the North. So again, but I feel like this Vikings team this year is probably better prepared to play on the road than other past Vikings playoff teams that we've had. So I actually feel good about this team on the road. I feel good about this team in general. I don't care where they play. I don't care who they play. We have proven to expect the unexpected. We can win any damn ball game you throw at us. Let's go. Do you care how they play? Yeah, they're going to win. And now we have Josh Rosen on the practice squad. So game, set, match. Absolutely. So that is your NFC playoff picture. Just sad when those teams from the South have to make it, isn't it? I mean, that's a damn disgrace. Not if we get to play them. I love everything about that. Uh, hopefully we do. They would have to win a game for that to happen. All right, that's it. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel. Hit up Lift Bridge, And remember this, vodka is more effective at reducing stress than red wine.